Hi, my name is Mike. I'm with the Field Support Service Group for North America for NVENT Thermal, and welcome to Raychem Connects, where we connect you to the product. Today, we're gonna to be talking about different ways of attaching a Raychem MI cable to a piece of pipe. So the first method we're gonna show basically is strapping, banding. Uh, this is just stainless steel, half inch wide. In some cases, you can use three quarter inch. I've already got my clip installed. I've got my banding tool, and now it's just a matter of tightening it up. I try to ensure that my banding clip is not on top of my MI cable. I make sure that it's good and snug. It's in the position I want it. When I've got it there, simply a matter of bending it over, cutting it, pressing this down, and then we need to flatten the wings out just a little bit. The wings themselves bend over nice and easy. They can even push over, and then I can look at where I'm at. I'm happy with that. The second method we're gonna use is a stainless tie wire. I have my tie wire here. I'm gonna find the positioning I want with my MI cable. All I'm gonna do is just a loose little tight wrap here. Cut my tie wire. I've got my bullnose pliers. They got the flat head on them. I put it in between the two wires. And I pull tension, I'm pulling back on it. because I'm trying to create that tension. And I keep twisting and twisting. Contrary to what people think, we don't cut the wire. And I have seen that many times where at this stage, um, cut here, cut here, hammer that end over. That's the wrong way to do it. This is the way you wanna do it. Hand tension, 90 degrees to the pipe. When it's tight, go down to 45 and keep turning. Keep turning. You'll see that the, uh, the tie wire will actually roll over onto itself. Go back over to 90 degrees and keep turning. This gives us a safe, flat knot and you won't actually cut your hands if you run across accidentally. Now suppose you actually try to install it on a valve. This can be a little bit trickier. Sometimes you need to double up your wire. And this is probably just the quickest way to doing it. Almost like a hand crank. Once you have it to where you want it, cut it, and you're ready to go. Now I have a double uh, wrap that I can put around to hold any larger objects. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any questions, please go to our website, contact your Raycam rep. So have yourself a great day. Invent. We connect and protect.